folks know that I love to collect graphite. You know, it's unusual to specialize in that. It's been a lot of fun to discover new things about that mineral. Uh, but I really felt vindicated when a new discovery of graphite with other beautiful minerals was discovered in the winter of 2007, 2008 in the famous gem mines of the Marilani Hills in Tanzania. And we have a beautiful specimen on display here that we'll pull out and I'd like to take back with me to my office to tell you a little bit more about it. George Robinson acquired this specimen from Fine Minerals International in 2009. On this specimen, the diopside crystals are exceptionally lustrous and transparent. Some of the other ones from the same pocket, the diopside is a bit more translucent and chatoyant. But the graphite crystals on these specimens are some of the best ever found in the world ever. This one's also associated with little needles of uh, mesolite and lamantite. Let's go back and I'll tell you a bit a little, a little more about it. Well, as I mentioned, uh, this pocket was discovered in the winter of 2007-2008 in Marilani, Tanzania. And it was described uh, in mineralogical record in What's New in Minerals. Uh, George Robinson was on the board and reviewing it, and so in January, February 2009, George left his review copy for me to have a look at on my desk, and I was just shocked to see these amazing graphite specimens covering two pages on the review copy. And it's described here, in my opinion, this shows greatest stars of Africa are the contents of a pocket of beautiful crystals of chromium-rich diopside opened in December 2007 in the Marilani mine, Arusha, Tanzania. But it's the graphite crystals that really caught my attention. George was able to acquire this fantastic specimen According to Daniel, one of the top four pieces from the pocket. And I noticed that the crystals seemed to have a rather unusual frosty look. And so I was able to study just a few little crumbs on the scanning electron microscope. And they turned out to be amazingly interesting graphite dendrites or graphite stars grown on top of graphite crystals. I'd never seen a phenomenon like this before. So I think it was a miracle that the graphite crystals grew to that size and quality in the first place. Another miracle that they were able to be preserved because for decades the miners only bothered collecting the tanzanites. And the graphites were remarkably delicate. Hmm. So to get them safely out of the mine, get them to market, get them into my hands, get them into the electron microscope. It's like, to me, one miracle after another. Well, in 2013, Daniel and I wrote an article, Miracle at Marilani, just to describe that phenomenal occurrence. And indeed, we featured that specimen with some prominence. <laughs> so that occurrence actually changed my mineralogical interests going from just graphite in general to studying in detail all the minerals at the Marilani mines.